Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to uh, Dragon Quest VII. Before we uh, do the bonus content, let's go ahead and Oracle a little bit. Ald needs a 96.77 XP. Gabo needs 35,646. Ira needs 99,147. Maribel needs 72,229. So that'll take a few, uh, a few Metal King slimes. Alright, so I've actually missed a, uh, an unknown shard. I'm gonna get that in a second. Um, but also this, uh, placing that lost shard in that chest didn't keep everything that happened to you from the last save. It basically just meant that you can go now back to that chest in your last save and get that item. Uh, which means that we did lose everything that we did uh, between that save and the end. Not too mi big of a deal, just some fights and stuff like that. Uh, but I did have to go back and get um, that unknown shard and the sword, uh, the Oceano sword. So I did get that stuff off camera. Uh, let's go ahead and return to the Skyfane. And hope that I can still get this one. I should be able to, but... Uh, this is not where I want to go. Where do I want to go? Let's go this way. That is not where I want to go. Alright. Up to this one. This is the only one left. It's got to be this one now. There we go. We can still use this. Good. Alright. So, there's a little spot with some children's spirits. That I didn't go back to, uh... To visit. I don't think we're gonna get any, uh... <laughs> fight experience for this, but... Oh well. I'm not sure if we're going to get fight experience for any of this, actually. Okay, so, through here... Up to the giant flower. Actually, what I should do is tiptoe. Alright. Now, I do not remember exactly where we need to go. I don't remember. This place is kind of maze-like, so... We're going to be wandering around a little bit here. Tiptoe is no longer effective. No, dang it. Er. All right, up here. So we're looking for some uh, columns. Tiptoe is no longer effective. Does not last very long. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can barely see them. The pain, I don't feel it anymore. You defeated the demon lord, didn't you? Thank you. Ah, 
I'm so happy that you defeated the Demon Lord. The prince and I can now rest in peace. Words cannot express my gratitude. Please take this with you. The maid gives Ald a small stone. Ald obtained the unknown shard. Thank you and farewell. And then they vanish. All right, should be able to get up here. That's actually not gonna work. I need to go back. I need to walk back. <laughs> I don't know if I just, I don't think I ever saw them the first time through. That is, that is pale on pale. That is terrible. Yeah, I don't think that I I spoke to them. I don't know who which what prince that is. I feel bad for missing that actually. Really? Really? You guys can't do anything to me. Oh no, one point of damage, whatever shall I do? Oh look, you're all dead. Go ahead and just M cycle around those stairs, of course. Tiptoe is no longer effective. I'll just keep it up because I don't really need to fight anything here. At all. Alright, so that is that is one that I missed, or that is one that I needed to get. I have it now. So it's no longer effective. Let's get it back up. And back through here. Alright, so with that in my pocket... Let's go back to Estard. Dang, kid. <laughs> Always getting in my way. Tiptoe is no longer effective. That's fine, because it doesn't matter at this point. I'll check the treasure chest. What? You found the unknown shard. You put the unknown shard in your bag. Excellent. So, now I have that... Now we can unlo unlock the bonus dungeon, the first bonus dungeon. We have to do the first bonus dungeon before we can do the second bonus dungeon. Okay, let's go deposit these. We'll deposit the uh, the rear ones first, because that's the second bonus dungeon. This one is for the first one. We don't want to do that one yet. I think we have one shard for this one back here. Yep. Alright, so we've got three shards. We need three more shards for that. go. I'm not exactly sure what that symbol is. Alright, let me see. Alright, 
let's look around here first. I'm not exactly sure where we are. Obviously, that does not show up on the map. Current position does not seem to be on the map. There don't seem to be any random encounters. Alright, into the first bonus dungeon we go. I also... Oh, I see a treasure chest back there. That next area looks familiar. Satan Mail, Satan Mail, and Voodoo Lamp. It's with White Fire, Rock Throw, Sword Dance, and Backflip. Only 41 damage. Oof. Let's see how this works. Excellent, excellent. Excellent, okay. Worked well on all of them. Only 12 damage, though, so not too shabby. Not too dangerous there. 1,220 points of XP, 490 gold. Not that we need the gold anymore. I'll check the treasure chest. Watch you find the strength seed. I'll obtain the strength seed. Alright, three voodoo lamps. Alright, not enough MP for twin hits. Interesting. Is not working all that well for against these guys, unfortunately. I should probably swap attacks. 1140 XP, 630 gold. Alright, no treasure on this floor. That area looked familiar. This area looks familiar. I don't know about that first one, but these are, these are re reused. Uh... All right, this is also a reused map area. No more treasure on this floor. Hold on a second. Okay. Not sure exactly where we need to go here. Okay, that's where we need to go. That I can get through here. Okay. Uh, Satan mail into two barbarians. Rock throw should work well against them. Yep. Barbarians will probably die to white fire. Yep. There we go. 980 points of XP, 324 gold.
Oh. It's the old guy's house. I'll check the bookshelf. There were no special books. I'll check the bookshelf. A mad book appeared from the bookshelf! Mad books are pretty easy, though. <laughs> nice! Oh, that was wonderful. Extra 60 damage. Watch, found the tiny metal. Gabo obtained the tiny metal. Alright, that is the first of three yet to find here. No more treasure on this floor. Watch, well, you found the strength seed. Gabo obtained the strength seed. And no puppy out here either. No more treasure on this floor. So this is the first part of the halfling cave. Uh, Devil Lash. goes. Devil Ash was defeated. 515 points of XP and 190 gold. Sure, where this is, what dungeon map this one is from. All right, no treasure on this floor. Golamugas. Nope, not that. Let's get back to White Fire. Rock throw, sword dance. And backflip. Seriously? Seriously? <sighs> All on the one guy. I chose that to even out damage dealt. These guys have a lot of hit points. Alright, he's gathering power. And he attacked. A brutal hit, 182 damage, good lord. Don't kill him, don't kill him, don't kill him. Don't kill him, they're dead. Thanks, Ira. 1,035 points of XP, 525 gold. Alright, so their attacks can kill Gabo. No more treasure on this floor. No more treasure on this floor. No more treasure on this floor. I'm not sure if there are branching pathways, though. Really, a putrefish? fish? That's an easy one. Uh, let's see.
Now, I'm not seeing any mention of branching pathways, so... Oh, hello. Alright, there's two unopened chests here. Oh, hey, Swordbanes. How's it going? Let's once again kill you before you can do anything. I'm fine with that. Ira, seriously. Seven hundred ninety eight points of XP, a three hundred ninety nine gold. First chest, all check the treasure chest. Watch, you found the Sage Rock. Gabo obtained the Sage Rock. I guess I'll give it to you. Not that you need it. Another Necroball and a Sword Bane. hits, that's okay. It was a waste of a turn for you. Because now you're dead. 576 XP. I want to find the other treasure first. That well, wasn't that. All right, Rungers. Okay, all defeated. 891 points of XP, 480 gold. I don't want to touch that. A disguiser. There we go. <laughs> it is really nice to go first. Really, really nice. Oh, three of you guys. Hey, you actually evened out the damage. I'm impressed. And <laughs> then the one that took two hits took the most damage from the uh, fire. You're going to zap 53, 33, 70, and 74. Ow! Nope, he's dead. 930 points of XP. Ah, yes. I'll check the treasure chest. Watch, you found the life ring. Gabo obtained the life ring. With as many hit points as we have, the life rings are just not that useful. Um, Gabo is definitely the one who would be who would benefit the most from that, but it's still not that great. Okay, so I'm not sure if you could have teleported back with that one 
uh, over to that uh, treasure chest or not, but I probably should have tried it. And I probably should have hustled in. Oh well. Try to remember to do that next time. 268 points of XP. Now they're called disguisers. I don't know if they're uh, if they're ones that change their form. We've seen one of those types of enemies. Okay, a Drac Metal, Baskerville, and two more Drac Metals. Let's get a hustle going. Probably not going to work on the Drac Metals. Yep. Speed Fire. Speed cold Air. Hustle, please. Ow. Sword Dance works on them. Okay. So let's switch over to a Sword Dance. Switch Gabo over to Quad Hits. You stick with Sword Dance, you... Hustle Dance, please. They are fast! Holy cow! Maribel's gonna die here soon. Oh, ho, 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 just barely... Yeah, keep doing the fire breath, please. Alright, two defeated. Okay. 7,885 points of XP, so they're a bit better than Metal Slimes in terms of XP granting, because that seems like that's about 2,000 each, or maybe 2,500. Yeah, it's probably 2,500. That's going to be a level for Ald. Ald was promoted to level 43. Uh, 11 hit points, 5 MP, 3 strength, 4 agility, 1 intelligence, 1 guard, 0 appearance, 282 gold. Go ahead and heal all yourself, please. Thank you. Alright, no treasure on this floor. So we just want to get to the end there. Uh... Makai Knight. Two Makai Knights and a... Uh, Drax, Drac Metal. I kind of want to get rid of the... Uh, those guys first. Bad targeting. Could have been better. And he's viewed cold air. Now we switch over to sword, sword Dance. Do I have anything better? Let's try Metal Cut. Oh, 
19 damage only. Oh! Jerk. 720 hit points of XP. I am actually kind of surprised that the first fight with three of them, none of them fled, and then that one fled. Oh, good. We can go back to my usual uh, incinerate them all plan. That That is my favorite. I want to get the hustle going if I can. Well, they take reduced damage from rock throw. Slashed violently for 51 damage on Agabo. next time. 1105 points of XP, 378 gold. And through we go. Two unopened chests. Okay. Here's the first one. I'll check the treasure chest. But the chest was empty. Rude! Revy Rocks. I find it funny how Crag Throw is the smaller, is the less damaging one compared to Rock Throw. You would think it would be the other way around. Ira. Ira, there's four of them. You get four attacks. Come on now. Thousand forty eight points of XP. And dark snails. The other chest might be up at the top. Alright, two left to incinerate. Well, the monsters were defeated. 500 points of XP at 332 gold. Come up here, cross this bridge. More dark snails. I should have gotten off of Hustle, but oh well. <laughs> chest. I'll check the treasure chest. What? You found the magic hat. I'll obtain the magic hat. Uh, spells require less MP. That would drop down her defense, but that's still pretty good. Go ahead and equip that. 
This didn't have any special effects anyway. I believe that halves MP usage. Alright, we have moved on. Uh, let me double check. Um... Uh, I think that there's a, a branching path. I think we've taken a branching path. Uh, when we come back next time, we will follow this one, see where it goes, and then um, if it looks like it continues on, we'll circle back to the other path. Uh, otherwise, we will circle back after we see what's at the end of this one. See you next time, everyone.